Welcome to the INT4 interface testing tool video tutorial. We are about to walk you through the inbound test case creation process. For the purpose of this video, we will use our demo sales order interface. This diagram explains the inbound interface flow. Our third party system, WebShop, communicates with the PI middleware platform using the SOAP protocol. XML message is being processed, mapped to an IDOC format, and forwarded to the ECC where it triggers creation of the sales order document. We will simulate the third party webshop system by sending the message by SOAP UI. As you can see, SOAP UI has generated an XML request straight from the schema. We just need to fill it with data required to create a sales order document on the ERP site. The really important thing for testing interfaces with IFTT is a unique business identifier of a document. In this case, the purchase order number would be a document key as it will allow to fetch the final business document later on. When we are done, we can submit our request. Now we can confirm the message was processed successfully in the message monitor. This is the message we are looking for. Through the IDOC monitor, we can make sure that the relevant IDOC message has been created. We can see here that it has triggered the creation of a sales order. Now we can check if our sales order document was created properly, meets all the business requirements, and can be used for future test case creation. As we can see, the purchase order number is exactly the same as the number specified in the XML request message that we have sent using SOAP UI. The sales order document seems to be valid from the functional point of view, so now we are ready to create a test case which will allow us to test the whole interface. This is IFTT's main screen. Here we can see all the test cases grouped into scenarios. They are displayed in a tree structure which functionally reflects the business processes that are configured on the system. For example, the structure can mirror the blueprint tree in the solution manager. We need to choose where we want our test case to be created, either within an existing or a newly created scenario. Creating a new test case is very simple. We just need to add a description of our new test case and specify the type of the interface that has been used to send the message. For SAP PIPO inbound interfaces, the value number 2 passes the information that the final document is sent by IDOC. Thanks to that, you even don't need to know the PI message GUI ID and IDOC number is just enough. For any not IDOC PI interfaces, we can use value number 1 and directly provide the PI GUID. In our case, the interface type is IDOC, so for our test case we need the IDOC number that has been sent earlier to the ECC and has triggered the creation of this sales order. Now we can save it. What is worth noting is the fact that IFTT has automatically identified the message linked to the IDOC number as a sales order document type. Accordingly, assertions have been applied automatically. You can learn more about it in the next video on the test case execution. To make sure that the test case is ready for further executions, we can now view the original XML message here. At this point, it is clear that this is exactly the same message that we have sent earlier using SOAP UI. The IFTT has been designed with efficiency and ease of use in mind. Creating multiple test cases at once has never been more intuitive and simple. You can copy the document numbers directly from an Excel file and IFTT will automatically recognize the document types and apply assertions. We paste it and save it. At this moment, all the XML messages referring to the selected documents are being downloaded from the PI database. At the same time, assertions and document types are automatically applied. This way, a business user can perform user acceptance tests on a regular basis. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a look at our other video tutorials.